situation, and it's best done abroad. Emma Campbell reports. Twelve-year-old Michael is up and about these days. After 19 operations and with crutches, he can now walk. But he still can't bend his right hip or knee, which doesn't make life easy. Sitting in a chair uh, sort of hurts my spine and going out with my friends would be it's very hard at the moment. This surgery could really change my life and I could really, uh, it could really help with um, a lot of the everyday things that people are used to and I've never done before. Michael was born with one leg much shorter than the other. Years of operations have stretched his right leg by 30 centimetres. This was him in February, taking his first ever steps. But more work still needed on his hip and knee, and getting the most advanced techniques means travelling to America. The family's now trying to raise £38,000 to pay for it. You know, the backing now of, of the local community, the amount of people that have come up to us since we started the fundraising, and the things that people are, are willing to do, we've got one guy who said that he'll do a sponsored run for us, you know, you're thinking maybe 10 miles? No, he's going to run from Bristol to Blackpool. <laughs> You know, when you've got support like that, now you are starting to be very optimistic and, and we do hope to, to get in there and see the results. Michael's come a long way in the last few months. More surgery will be one more step along the road to full mobility. He's hoping to have it done next May, which gives the family a year to raise the money. Emma Campbell, BBC Points West, in Weston Super Mare. Now, 